Tyler here, and we're back again for What's New with GP Knives. Let's jump right in. First up, we're going to take a look at the Spyderco Persistence Lightweight. We have this now in the black oxide coated blade, and we've got all three edge variations with the full spider edge, serrated edge here. We've got partially serrated, and then of course the plain edge blade as well. These are all built with eight CR13 MOV stainless steel blades, a nice mid-level working steel. We've got black FRN for the handle scales with bi-directional texturing, full skeletonized stainless steel liners with liner lock, and a stainless steel hourglass clip with four position carry option. So this is a great option for ambidextrous users and a great addition to the Spyderco value line. And we'll be taking a more in-depth look at this knife in our full overview coming up soon. Next, we've got the Spyderco Delica, and this is a distributor exclusive Warncliffe variation. So we've got the bright teal on the FRN handles here, and then S30V for the blade steel. So a bit of an upgrade here and a nice, bright, stylish look for your EDC. Construction is gonna be the same. We've got a four position stainless steel hourglass pocket clip, bi-directional textured FRN handle scales, and a mid back lock. So a great option for a brighter color for your daily carry folder. And for the fixed blade fans out there, we have the Topps Knives Silent Hero 4. You can see the full overview on the channel now. This is a more compact, EDC carry friendly version of the original Silent Hero. We've got the same 1095 high carbon steel blade with differential heat treat, black micarta for the handle scales with contrasting red liners. And on this one, we've got a sniper gray Cerakote for discrete carry as well as improved corrosion resistance. And that is gonna come with a Kydex sheath set up for scout carry with some beta loops. And I'll grab quickly here the Paramilitary 2 from Spyderco for a quick size comparison with these knives. So you can see the Silent Hero is gonna fall into a nice carry size for being a capable fixed blade that is still a little more carry friendly. And next we're gonna take a look at some classic Olight models in new colorways. First up, we've got the I5R EOS in the Forest Gradient. So you can see the Forest Gradient has a lighter green at the click end and a dark green bordering on black at the bezel end. Otherwise, this is the same AA powered two output light as the original I5R EOS. And of course it does come powered by a rechargeable AA battery. And next we've got the Seeker 3 Pro. And again, we have it in the forest gradient, this time going from light green at the bezel to the dark green at the charging end. And this one has matching black bezels around the light and the rotary switch. And for the Purun 2 headlamp, we have another green gradient. This is the Clover gradient. So we've got a brighter clover green at the bezel end and a dark green to black at the charging end. For the popular Baton 3 EDC light, we have the deep sea blue gradient. So we've got a blue to black and we've got the Open Pro multifunction light pointer and pin in the same deep sea blue gradient. And last but not least, we have the Open Mini and this is just in the standard blue, a new model from Olight. This is a great compact, lightweight EDC writing utensil. You can see it's very small, comes in at under half an ounce in the weight, uh, very smooth bolt action operation. So it's got a nice fidget factor, built-in pin clip for secure carry, and some nice fluted milling that serve to reduce weight 
as well as provide a solid grip on the pin for use. So if you want a very minimal and functional EDC writing tool, this is gonna be a great choice. And last but not least, if you are looking for some limited production or custom pieces to round out your collection, we've got a few options for you. First up, we've got the Spyderco Urban, and this is a sprint run with Bjorkman's Twist Damasteel and Smooth Ivory White G10. This is a non-locking slip joint with a sub three inch blade, so a great choice if you're looking for something that is gonna be legal to carry in most areas. It does still have a stainless steel deep carry wire clip and Spyderco round hole, so it does have one hand opening, but is a non-locking and compact EDC. And as you can see with the index finger choil, it does still offer a nice full grip and plenty of control if you decide to use that. Next, we've got a few custom pieces from Trevor Berger. This is his custom Sierra, a titanium frame lock flipper. We've got a blade of Elmax in a nice hand rub satin finish on this one, full titanium handle scales and backspacer, and tie connector custom hardware with a blue anodized finish and matching backspacer and 3D milled pocket clip on that. And this is a larger size, so you've got a nice full grip and plenty of cutting edge. And this is actually a shallow hollow grind on here. So if you do decide you want to use this, it's going to be a great performer as well. And last but not least from Makusta, we've got their Slimline, part of their new limited production Platinum series. And this is a single one of a kind piece. We've got a laminated blade of VG10 and Damascus. So a nice striking look there with a faux hamon line there towards the edge. We've got a hand filed texture on the spine here. And that is echoed in the inlaid wood as well. We've got polished finger grooves. And then of course we've got a multi-tonal acid etch finish on the blade. So all in all, a very custom piece. And this is gonna be serialized and you can see that serial number right here on the back. And if you do decide to carry and use this, it comes with a nice leather belt sheath. But this is of course gonna be a great option as a display piece and collector's item as well. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and what's new at GP Knives? Thanks for watching, stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below. Follow us on social media for updates on all new products and comment below with your favorite pick from this update.